yeah all right so um let's create a simple function over here function will write display and uh, here we do console.log of hello a very simple function and then we have um, we just call this uh, function so when you execute this simple code so what happens in the memory section is it is going to store a variable over here with the name display and the value that is going to be stored here is the function the complete uh, function definition that we have given over here and when 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 the uh, commands when there are commands to execute like this is a command right so we are executing a function that's when this part where the all the execution would happen will come okay so here we would be calling display and since we are uh, calling the display function over here this is going to open up a new execution context okay so this will be one second uh, okay okay just uh, understand that this is going to open a similar context inside this uh, this global context so what that means is when when our thread of execution so since we talked about single threaded javascript right so when this starts executing the thread of execution goes inside the display function and since it goes inside the display function it will create its own execution context so what that means is let's say i define a variable over here okay so this uh, this variable will not be defined in the global memory space it will be defined under a local memory space so basically there will be another execution context uh, which would be inside the global context and since it is inside the global context it will always have access to whatever you have stored in the uh, whatever you have stored in the global context okay so i'll have access to the variable display if there are any variable uh, declarations that i've done even those will be readily available in the uh, in the local context of this function the display function that i'm talking about so this is the execution context in javascript so it does only two things it will go line by line it will start executing it will see that okay there is a function declaration i need to store this uh, declaration somewhere in the memory so it will store it in the memory area and uh, when it uh, goes into the uh, execution of the commands so this is a command right so once it goes into the execution of this command it will um, uh, it will create a new execution context and it will go inside that and execute the things related to that okay so let's say instead of returning hello i am returning data oh sorry so i am returning data so what happens in that case is all this once the uh, thread of execution goes inside this particular uh, execution context it will see that there is a return statement at the bottom so there, it will see that there is a return and it will then send out that value into the global memory so basically wherever you are calling this it will get replaced with the uh let's say i'm doing this let result equal to something so result will be created in the memory area and uh, once it is returning something it will just replace this display part with whatever the data that you are providing so that's that's the basic thing what javascript does so it doesn't do anything extra it's a very basic programming language but along with the along with with the help of uh, browser features it becomes very uh, powerful and we will see how that all those things happen okay mm -hmm.